Math Grade 1 Quarter 2 Week 8 Let's learn about Solving problems involving addition Day 1 to Day 2 Matatag Curriculum Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about Solving problems involving addition. Learning competencies. The learners add numbers by expressing addends as tens and ones or expanded form. Add numbers with sums up to 100 without regrouping using a variety of concrete and pictorial models for two-digit and one-digit numbers. 2-digit and 2-digit numbers and solve problems or given orally or in pictures involving addition with sums up to 100 without regrouping. Learning Objectives At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to solve problems involving addition. Day 1 Bring out your show me board and give each item one at a time. Write the given numbers vertically and find the sum. Number 1, 45 plus 4. In vertical form, it goes like this. 45 plus 4. First, add the digits in the ones place. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Then, bring down 4. The answer is... 49. Number 2, 32 plus 26. In vertical form, it is 32 plus 26. First, add the digits in the ones place. Then next is the digits in the tens place. 2 plus 6 equals 8. 3 plus 2 equals 5. The answer is 58. Number 3. 53 plus 5. Write this in vertical form. 53 plus 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Then bring down 5. The answer is 58. 53 plus 5 equals 58. Number 4. 12 plus 71. Write this in vertical form. 12 plus 71. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 1 plus 7 equals 8. The answer is 83. And for number 5, 24 plus 15. Write this in vertical form. 24 plus 15. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 2 plus 1 equals 3. The answer is 39. The purpose of this lesson is to solve problems involving addition. Read the following keywords. Add Plus Sum Join All together In all let us read the problems together. Answer the following problems. Write your answers in the space provided. Number 1. Mar has 24 marbles. Cat has 12 marbles. How many marbles do they have in all? Problem number 1. How many marbles does Mar have? According to the problem, Mar has 24 marbles. How many marbles does Cat have? Cat has 12 marbles. What does the problem want you to know about? The number of marbles Mar and Cat have all together. 
For this problem, we will combine the marbles of cat and mar. 24 plus 12. Write this in vertical form. Then add the digits in the ones place. Then next is the digits in the tens place. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Therefore, Mar and Cat have 36 marbles. Number 2. There were 72 eggs in the basket. Nilo added 15 more eggs. How many eggs are now in the basket? For problem number 2, the question is, how many eggs were in the basket? There were 72 eggs in the basket. What did Nilo do with the eggs? Nilo added 15 more eggs. What is us in the problem? The number of eggs in the basket now. For this problem, we will combine 72 eggs and 15 more eggs. 72 plus 15. Write this in vertical form. 2 plus 5 equals 7. 7 plus 1 equals 8. Therefore, there are 87 eggs now in the basket. Number 3. 20 children were on the bus. 15 more children joined them. How many children were on the bus altogether? So this is problem number 3. How many children were on the bus? There were 20 children on the bus. How many more children joined them? 15 more children joined them. What do you do to find the number of children on the bus altogether? We need to add the number of children on the bus and the number of children who joined them. So that is 20 plus 15. Write this in vertical form. 0 plus 5 equals 5. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Therefore, 35 children were on the bus. And for number 4, 12 candies were in a jar. Pam added some more to make them 18. How many candies were added by Pam? So that is problem number 4. How many candies were in a jar? 12 candies were in a jar. What did Pam do? Pam added some more candies to make them 18. What do you want to find out? The number of candies added by Pam. Let's get the number of candies added by Pam. 12 plus blank equals 18. So we will find the missing addends. Using the counters, start counting to 12 until you reach 18. So for example, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So therefore, the missing add-in is 6. 6 candies were added by Pam. And now, let us do this activity. Assessment number 1. Answer the following problems. Number 1. There are 23 chairs in the room. Teacher Cat adds 42 more. How many chairs are now in the room? Combine 23 and 42. So 23 plus 42, add the digits in the ones place, then next is the digits in the tens place. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Therefore, there are now 65 chairs in the room. Number 2. Mar has 36 popsicle sticks. His friend gave him 22 pieces more. How many popsicle sticks does he have in all? We will combine 36 and 22. 36 plus 22. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Therefore, Mar has 58 popsicle sticks now. Day 2. Bring out your show me board and give each item one at a time. Write the given numbers vertically and find the sum. Number 1. 52 plus 45. Write this in vertical form. Then add 
2 plus 5 equals 7. 5 plus 4 equals 9. The answer is 97. Number 2. 16 plus 61. Write this in vertical form. Then add. 6 plus 1 equals 7. 1 plus 6 equals 7. The answer is 77. Number 3. 82 plus 7. Write this in vertical form. Then add. 2 plus 7 equals 9. Bring down 8. Number 4. 14 plus 24. Write this in vertical form. Then add. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 1 plus 2 equals 3. The answer is 38. And number 5, 6 plus 72. Write this in vertical form. Then add. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Bring down 7. The answer is 78. Let's go back to the answers we made in assessment 1. Number 1, there are 23 chairs in the room. Teacher Cat adds 42 more. How many chairs are now in the room? Here are possible answers or solutions to problem 1. For letter A, counting by fives the 23 chairs, then using counting on to add the scattered chairs. For letter B, counting those arranged chairs by fives and then group the scattered chairs by fives and continue counting. And for letter C, Using addition algorithm, like 23 plus 42, 3 plus 2 equals 5, 2 plus 4 equals 6. Therefore, there are now 65 chairs in the room. Let's see problem number 2. Mar has 36 popsicle sticks. His friend gave him 22 pieces more. How many popsicle sticks does he have in all? Here are possible answers or solutions to problem number 2. Letter A. Count the drawing of popsicle sticks in the worksheet. For letter B. Using counters. The learners use counters to show the 36 popsicle sticks of Mar and the 22 popsicle sticks of his friend. Then combine the sticks. And for letter C. Using addition algorithm. 36 plus 22. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Therefore, Mar has 58 popsicle sticks now. For this activity, answer the task below in groups. Let's read the problem. Mel picked 12 shells. Ed picked 26 shells. How many more shells must Mel pick? to have the same number of shells as Ed. Now answer the following questions. How many shells did Mel pick? Mel picked 12 shells. How many shells did Ed pick? Ed picked 26 shells. Did Mel and Ed pick the same number of shells? No. Who picked fewer shells? Mel picked fewer shells. Who picked more shells? Ed picked more shells. What does the problem want us to do? To know the number of shells Mel needs to pick to have the same number of shells as Ed. So here is the possible solutions to the problem using concrete objects or manipulative. Mel shells and Ed shells. Counted 12 and 26 counters for the shells picked by Mel and Ed. 12 were removed from 26. 14 remained. Mel should pick 14 more shells. Adding on. Possible explanation. Mel picked 12 shells. We added some shells or objects to Mel's until we reached 26, the number of Ed's shells. Then, 
We counted the number of objects added. Mel has to pick 14 more shells so that they both have the same number of shells. By finding the missing add-in. Mel has to pick 14 more shells so that they both have the same number of shells. Mel has 12 shells while Ed has 26 shells. The problem asks for the additional number of shells Mel must pick to have the same number of shells as Ed. So 12 plus blank equals 26. We will find the missing add-in. 12 tells the number of shells picked by Mel. 26 tells the number of shells picked by Ed. The blank tells the number of shells Mel needs to pick so that he will have the same number of shells as Ed. What number should be in the blank so that Mel will have the same number of shells as Ed? Mel must pick 14 more shells so that he will have the same number of shells as Ed. 12 plus 14 equals 26. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!